Good afternoon. The prosecution's presentation of evidence in the trial of Radko Mladic started on Monday, and the chamber is currently hearing the testimony of David Harland, who was a civil affairs officer and political advisor to UMPROFOR from June 93 until the end of the conflict in Bosnia. His testimony will be followed by that of General Sir Richard Dunnett, former commander of the UK Armed Forces, and he will provide expert evidence on issues of military command and control. Hearings in this case will continue also next week. And then we have the summer recess, which will start on Monday, the 23rd of July, for a period of three weeks. President Meron will be in Geneva this Friday to address an informal meeting of state parties to the Geneva Conventions on strengthening the compliance through international criminal law and international criminal tribunals. The meeting has been organized by the government of Switzerland and the International Committee of the Red Cross. That's it for me for the short press briefing. Nothing from my side. Thanks. Nothing from the prosecution. Questions? I'm just curious, I've already got my I was just curious, uh, the, um, the allocation of time in the Maladich, uh back and forth. Um, Lukic said this morning he wanted nine hours. It seemed like an awful lot of time. Um, how, how, is it, how is the time actually allocated? I mean, is the, is the, does the defense have so many hours altogether in the, in, in the trial and the um, prosecution or is it just ad hoc? I mean, at this stage, I mean, obviously the final decision has, been, uh, has not been made at this stage. What we do know is how many hours and witnesses the prosecution approximately will be calling, but for each one of those witnesses, the defense is allowed to cross-examine and will be uh, allocated a certain amount of time for each of the cross-examinations, as is, for example, going also happening in Karadzic case at the same time. So the allocation of time will depend on the witness and the type, type, type of questioning that they will be wanting to make. But when it comes to the defense time to present the evidence, similar to what we now have with the prosecution, they will have an allocated time in which to present all of their body of evidence, including witnesses. So now what we're talking about today is about the time allocated to them to cross-examine. It so is something that the chamber... Hours, does he get nine hours? Is it, is it the that's something that the chamber has to uh, rule on how long they will have. Yeah, we have 200 hours to present our case. So we have to to fit our case in these 200 hours. We had 300 hours in the Karadzic case. Uh, of course, a lot of the, the evidence, we have only a few live witnesses. The first one was a Viva Voce witness, so he testified in full, uh, he gave his testimony in full. These witnesses already have statements, and, and it's only a uh, several questions will be answered. So the asked. So the the presentation is, is shorter, but the defense, of course, gets a time to cross-examine. But as Nurma was saying, I think we have to see uh, as the process and the trial proceeds how much time the defense will be allocated to to cross-examine. But we have seen in the Karadzic case that it it can sometimes defense needs time to to cross-examine. Also, a question just, uh, just a technical one about documents <coughs> that uh, they keep on citing documents. Are these uh, available to the public in general at the time that they are introduced here, or is it only afterwards? Um, this is something that each trial chamber decides uh, how they want to rule on this. Uh, this trial chamber in the uh, Radko Mladic case has decided that public exhibits can be accessible to public um, throughout the trial. So once you are aware of an exhibit that has been presented in, uh, in the courtroom, uh, you need to submit an, a formal request, like for any other document, uh, to the press office. And then it goes to the chamber, which just has to uh, um, agree with the parties that the document is not requiring any uh, reduction or contains no confidential matters. So it means, basically, that you will not have the same minute that it's in the courtroom but it will be accessible uh, within a few days, usually, uh, after it is there. <laughs> <coughs> okay, thanks.